passion. Now that's killer out. And David would always sway us the other way. He's like, no, no, if he's upset right now, you should say something mean to him right now, because that's what she would do. When I get mad, I, I lose control, you know. I don't know what I do till it's done. The kids? He killed them, didn't you? And so it was really painful at times. We're doing really emotional scenes, and you'd, you'd have a character, like Jay's character, or someone really pouring their heart and soul out. And David would come and whisper in my ear and be like, now's when you stab him. Own it! What'd you think was gonna happen, huh? Hey, Harley, come on. To really dig in and sting them when they were down, was, that was in her nature and I couldn't avoid that. I had to explore that as much as I explored like the, the funny side to her. Well, they say about the crazy ones. Huh? The look is insane and the hair and makeup was a real process. I mean, it was a three hour process every single day. We'd do the body paint completely paint me white. Then there were 20 tattoos to put on, and a wig, and then the makeup, and then whatever cuts and bruises, you know, Harley had acquired by that point in the film. So a uh, three hour process. It was fun though. It's always like the best time to get into your character. And once you look like that, you kind of, I'm, I feel ready. Like I feel like I'm Harley. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys, it's what we do. Harley Quinn is extremely fun to watch because you have no clue what she's gonna do next. Come on, baby. She is an extremely emotional, complex character because she is a female Joker, she really is. I mean, the Joker created her. Harley! She's a strong character in her own right. She's not defined by the Joker anymore, even though they have a relationship, which I really love. Put in. You got all dressed up for me? Oh, you know I'd do anything for you. By the way, I've got some grape soda on ice and a bearskin rug waiting. So in Suicide Squad, part of the story is this really epic romance between Joker and Harley. In the comics, there's been a lot of different versions where it's a little bit antagonistic, it's not a healthy relationship often. And this is like Harley and the Joker, like Bonnie and Clyde in the DC Universe. It's a fascinating love story because is it love love, is it love hate? There's a lot of ways to argue what that relationship is and what that relationship means. Oh, there she is. The fire in my loins. The itch in my crotch. The one, the only, the infamous Harley Quinn. Pin? Oh. <laughs> you want me? Oh, come to daddy. That relationship is so interesting. It's just so filled with turmoil, and it's one of those relationships where they're so attached to each other, and it's so dark that they can't get enough of each other. He married me. It's the very first time in a movie that I've ever been on where on day two of shooting on production, it was just Jared and Margo shooting that day, and the entire crew you, you just kind of look around and their jaws are on the floor because they're watching something so special and so unique. Ah, 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 you dirty pervert. Oh my God, you people. What are you looking at? Shut up! It was like pure entertainment for the crew. There we go, in action! Get off me! Get it. <laughs> what do we have here? The Harley Joker stuff was so unpredictable. Like the squad stuff, we had done so much rehearsal and, and, and we needed to because it bonded us in a way that none of us ever expected would happen, obviously. But the Joker stuff, Jared and I didn't really do any rehearsals off screen. Cut, I'm a rehearsal, Cut, I'm a rehearsal. <laughs> it's really scary. And it was perfect because then we would get in front of the camera and I didn't know what was gonna happen and he didn't know what was gonna happen. I don't think anyone really knew what was gonna happen. And that's why those scenes were so electric because they were so unpredictable. Okay, honey, it's me and you. Let's do it. I was lucky in that I had a pretty phenomenal partner in this. I was really lucky to work with her. Incredibly kind, incredibly patient, which you have to be with the Joker in the room. Desire becomes surrender. Surrender becomes ow. You want this? I do. Oh God, you're so good. When you're acting with Joker, like 
I didn't see any of Jared, not for a second. It was it was Joker, and he's and he's nuts. But whatever the result was, it, it meant that we got these great great moments on the screen. <sighs> No matter how far we delve, how many scenes we do, I just feel like I've only scratched the surface of Harley. Like, it's just a character that's like a bottomless pit of, like, issues. <laughs> I could play Harley for like 10 years and be happy. I think the Joker will live forever. I think that he's in some ways the perfect villain. He has stood the test of time, and there will always be a Joker. You may not think so, but he's there, waiting to chew your bloody face off. <laughs> <laughs>